Hi friends, welcome to our next video. And today it is the last video on the self incompatibility concept. In the next video, we shall deal with the male sterility concepts also. So in last class, I have spoke about the few things like uh, their interaction takes place between in certain stages between the pollen and the uh, style and all. Now let's see what the interaction is. How the mechanism of interactions in self incompatibility do takes place. Before starting the topic, please do follow me on my Instagram, time to be intellectual and please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to get notified. Now let's continue to the topic. The mechanisms of self incompatibility. Normally the mechanisms are quite complex and is poorly understood and we in certain stages I have said to you that they are very complicated uh, the interactions takes place. Actually we exactly we can't predict the interactions. But we can say to some certain, to some percentage, this might happen. So, and based on that, it is being grouped into three categories. One is pollen stigma interactions, pollen tube style interactions, and pollen tube ovary interactions. Let's see one by one. Okay, friends. Now let's begin with the first topic that is the pollen stigma interactions. Interactions occur just after the pollen grains reach the stigmatic surface and generally prevent pollen germination, they prevent the germination of pollen that is the pollen tip growth and all. See this is a stigmatic surface, this is a pollen grains and the reaction begin when it reaches the sur surface. Usually they don't allow the pollen tube germination and this is very common in the homomorphic system. In the homomorphic system in the last class in the previous video we have studied about it. I will give the link in the description please look at it once. And now uh, the there are two systems that is the sporophytic and gametophytic under this homomorphic they too differ in one character that is the stigmatic surface. The beginning with the gametophytic system. In the gametophytic system the stigmatic surface that is this stigma surface is plumous and elongated with the receptive cells. Plumous means friends it looks like a it, it gives a feathery look means when you see it see at it. It gives a feathery look and a soft look. Such character we call them as plumules and it has a receptive cells means which receives the stimulus and all. Such cells are present on this surface. So hence we call them as a wet surface, wet stigma. And here I have said that the reaction begin when they reach the stigmatic surface. But it is an exception. This gametophytic system is exception because here germination do occur and the interactions that is the incompatibility interactions takes place in the later stages not at this stage after the germination the incompatibility reaction takes place okay friends in the pollen style interaction let's continue with the another system under homomorphic system that is sporophytic system in this system let's see how the stigmatic surface looks see imagine this is a stigmatic surface here this surface usually papillate like uh, papilla you can imagine like this a nipple shape you can imagine we usually call such shapes as papillate shape and it is usually papillate and dry this surface is dry and it is covered with a hydrated layer of protein there is a hydrated layer of protein i will try to write see This is a stigmatic surface, it is dry, papillate and it is covered with a, another layer and it is a hydrated layer of protein and such layer we call them as pellicle. Such layer is called as pellicle and this pellicle, this hydrated layer is responsible for the interactions under this system. This pellicle is involved in the incompatibility reactions like a pollen, a pollen is there it comes here on reaching the surface after some moment see friends the pollen will be having the surface like this one and an exam will be there there will be a exam pore also and through that pore the exam exudates will release after reaching the pollen on this stigmatic surface after within a few minutes and this stigmatic surface the pollen releases the Exine exudates. I think you got what exine exudates is. 
the things inside means for the development of the pollen tube they release the exudate uh, from the pollen and uh, that exudate is either protein or glycerol, glycerol protein and that exudates it releases from the pollen is either protein a generally a normal protein or a special type that is a uh, carbohydrate which is a glycerol and uh, linked with the protein that is glycerol protein it can be anything within this and this is responsible for the interaction this exudate interacts with this hydrated pellicle the reaction the reacts with pellicle and induces the callus formation which further prevents the pollen tube growth a callus formation will take place here like this means they don't allow the pollen tube growth or the germination itself and thus they prevent them in the surface itself thus this sporophyte in this sporophyte system the interactions takes place okay friends let's see the next type of interaction that is the pollen style interaction in previous what we see uh, what we saw in pollen stigma interactions the interaction takes place in the stigmatic surface but here the interaction takes place in the style that is in the style the interaction takes place let's see what happens pollen grains germinate here the germination do takes place and pollen tube growth initiates and pollen tube penetrates the stigmatic surface they passes this stigmatic surface but in the incompatible combinations that is when the when the incompatibility do occur the growth of the pollen tube is retarded within the style see if you see this pollen it germinates and pollen tube growth takes place to some extent then this pollen tube retards here why does it retard let's see now the protein and the polysaccharine synthesis due the pollen tube grow take place due to the synthesis within this pollen if the synthesis stops then there is no supply of food for the pollen tube growth thus it retards that is the supply is the proteins and polysaccharines this synthesis will be stopped and thus they will result in bursting of the pollen tube this this thing which completely get burst out the pollen will go off from there and thus leading to the death of the nuclei within the pollen tube the example for this are petunia lilium species and lycopersicum species and all and the last reaction is pollen tube oval interactions in this what happens pollen tube pollen tube growth it germinates in the stigmatic surface pollen tube growth takes place and it reaches the ovule see I think this is so pollen will start from here it goes on germinates and it, it reaches the ovule here but embryo degenerates the embryo formation takes place here will degenerate here the exact reason for the degeneration is not known we just can say some biochemical actions takes place there and thus degenerates as it is a complex and it is difficult to predict exactly what happens but due to some biochemical reaction that degenerates an example for this is theobroma cocao this is an example by this we shall end this class in next class we shall see about the male sterility concept thanks for watching please do like share comment and subscribe thank you